hi there you how are you it has been a while since i made a video uh, it has been a whole season since i uploaded anything here on the youtube channel and i must say i'm a little bit out of practice making videos it feels a little bit weird being here but good i'm so excited to be finally making another video so we are here for a winter planning vlog. I am gonna look back on my autumn and tell you what's been going on while I've been in other places than here on YouTube. And I am also gonna tell you about my plans for the winter. So yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. I am, I have here my own planning guide. You might, might have seen these before. They are called Four Seasons of Creative Work. You can get them on my website. We also use them in my group coaching community, Companions and Creativity. Um, and this is the winter planning workbook. And we always do this. We always do season planning in my group coaching. I do it for myself. And this is really the marker of seasonal change for me. So we are here entering winter and I am so looking forward to reflecting about this autumn that has been really quite um, new, different, pivotal, intense. I've been doing quite a lot um, and it's been the first season after a, making a big change, starting my part-time content writer job that I have now. So. Um, I really, really adore seasonal planning. It's something I encourage everyone to do, <laughs> creatives in, in particular, uh, because it both marks the seasonal change. Uh, it brings a lot of inspiration into, um, into the seasons and into our creative work as well. And yeah, I just adore it. So what I'm gonna do is that I am gonna do first my autumn reflections, and then I'm gonna tell you how this autumn went and then I'm going to do winter planning and tell you about that and I'm of course going to share some tips with you as well if you are sitting down to reflect about your autumn and want to plan for your winter as well. So let's dive in. Okay, so I have now done my autumn reflections and I really, really think that sitting down and looking back on the season we're leaving behind is so incredibly important and so incredibly beneficial as well. Because we can get so, so many insights from reflecting about how things have been, how things have went, um, to understand why things work well when they do and why things don't work out when they don't. And start seeing those trends and start seeing those patterns of, okay, uh, maybe I can't put this much on my plate because I, I'm never gonna be able to do all of those things and then I'm gonna be uh, disappointed by that. For example, if you tend to pile on too much, Recognizing that in, in reflection, so incredibly important to make a change and to realize what is a good level of planning for you, what is a good amount of work to do in the season, for example. And um, yeah, I think reflection is, should always be a part of planning because when we reflect, we get the insight we need to make good plans and helpful plans, plans that actually guide us and support us in our creative lives and creative work. So I have had an intense autumn and also a really, really good autumn. So uh, if we back up a little bit, I came out of summer uh, with a lot of direction. Uh, I had dive deep into my why, I had redone my website, I had created a new free workbook, and I had also gotten a part-time content writer job, which I started 
in early September. So I started in the beginning of autumn. So much of this autumn has been dominated by the fact that this has been the first season of me running my business part-time, uh, half, half my work week and having a job half my work week. And uh, this balance of 50-50 has been so good. I, <laughs> I had a feeling uh, a strong feeling in summer and beginning of autumn when I was just about to enter this um, and when I decided to apply for the job that this would be good for me uh, and this autumn I've really seen how good it has been. So I think that this is very interesting and I think that this is a really good lesson as well for I don't know every one of us <laughs> for me for um, I think this is a lesson that the online creative space needs to learn um, because for a couple of years now, I see that this is dialing down a little bit, but for a couple of years, it's been really big push towards you should have your own online business and the dream, the collective dream of uh, being self-employed and living off of your creativity and uh, wanting to quit jobs, wanting to get out of that nine to five race and, and all that. And I have been 100% on that train as well. Um, uh, but after having run my own business full time for a year and now transitioning to a 50 50 uh, place with a job I actually enjoy, I enjoy it more than being full time self employed. And maybe this would be different if my business was like five years in the future and super stable and everything was like just calm and smooth sailing. But I'm actually not sure I would enjoy that more because I really do enjoy working within a team. And I'm sure if I could have my own team, but then I would also have the stress of, um, yeah, making sure my employees have their salaries paid every month and, and that pressure and responsibility of that. So. I think that there's a lesson here that uh, we sometimes think that we all, it w everything would be good if we have more time for some, something we love. And um, we think that uh, the most full way of doing something or the most sort of complete way, complete all in way of doing something is the best way to do it. And if we don't want that, we are not fully invested in it or something like that. I think there are those kind of thoughts circulating. And I just want to say that this has also taught me that uh, I can love my business. I can love my creative work deeply and I can want to do it a part of my working life and not my whole working life. And I can want to have, um, I can enjoy other things in my life, <laughs> not just this that I'm very passionate about. Um, and also I can want the stability of something else. So um, actually getting into what I've been doing this autumn. So it has been intense because I made much of my plans for this autumn uh, before I knew that I would have a part time job. Um, so should I have replanned my autumn more? Maybe, uh, but also it has worked out. I have dropped one thing during autumn um, and it has worked out. Uh, it has been intense, uh, but not too stressful. So um, what I've done this autumn is that it started with me launching my new podcast, Inside Creativity, and I have been podcasting all through autumn and I have absolutely loved it. I do enjoy making videos a lot, but I must say podcasting feels more like me and it feels more like, yeah, it feels like a really, really wonderful, cozy, uh, safe space, both for me and for the listeners. Um, and it has been so, so enjoyable and so good. And I have, yeah, I have, yeah, I will not stop podcasting anytime soon. <laughs> so the podcast has been a big hit. It's definitely one of the big wins of uh, for me personally and 
listeners as well. <laughs> so I, yeah, that has gone really, really great. Um, I'm really, really happy about the podcast. Um, otherwise, my, so my autumn has been dominated by launches and campaigns, and that was my main focus area. So uh, what I what I went into autumn with uh, was that I had retired my old coaching package and uh, wanted to launch my new coaching package, the Dream Project, which is my the, the biggest, most intense way uh, to work with me, where we work uh, we work together during three months, uh, working on a creative project that you want to make. Uh, so um, I knew that I wanted to launch this, and I didn't really want to push it further into like winter or something. I just wanted to make it and get it out there so everyone who's interested can take a look at it and uh, consider it and book with me. Uh, so that took up much of uh, September, October uh, to get that prepared and launched. And that was probably the most intense part of autumn. So first getting the podcast launched, uh, starting a new job pretty much at the same time, um, getting everything sort of in order for the podcast launch. Um, I made uh, the last few videos here um, before like transitioning to doing more podcast. I uh, started up uh, the dream project, talking about it in my content and creating it. Um, and uh, also at the same time, we had an election here in Sweden and I worked in the election. Uh, so yeah, that was the most intense part of autumn. And uh, looking back, like it was fine, but I know that it was quite back-to-back -back and I don't enjoy back-to-back -back things. It was quite um, like I, yeah, when one thing was finished, when another thing just straight took over. Uh, so yeah, it was a bit intense, um, but it was also really good. I, I am really glad to have the Dream Project out there and launched, really happy with it. And now in the last month of, um, of autumn in November, I have had a campaign around my group coaching community, Companions and Creativity, which has been doors open always since I launched it a year ago. And I'm now transitioned to having open closed launches. So the doors to it are closed for new members most of the year. And then there will be uh, particular times when you can join in the year. Uh, so you've been able to do that now. The doors are closed now when this uh, video goes out as well. And uh, next time we will open the doors is in spring. So yeah, uh, preparing for that and making everything sort of go, um, yeah, be in order uh, that it's been quite a bit of work, but I have also, like especially now in, in November and the end of autumn, um, I have gotten even more sure of companions being the primary way that I work with creatives and being my sort of main uh, way you can you can get support from me as a creative um, in this group format because I believe in it so strongly and I see how good it is uh, I am so sure of it I feel like it suits creatives really well like one-to-one -one coaching is quite an investment and it's something that not all creatives are able to do um, and that is sort of the premium way of working with me and I, I can see that companies and creativity is a really good fit for creatives in general um, that wants, wants that kind of support but uh, it's not as, as much of an investment um, as one-to-one -one coaching. So I feel like it's a good fit all around, it fits me really well, especially now also when I'm balancing it with a job and it's yeah I'm, I'm i'm this autumn has just made me very sure of the fact that companions and creativity is for me my main priority in my business uh going forward and it's a thing that i want to keep building up and focus on and i'm really really happy to have it and run it and yeah so i had a secondary focus area for autumn which was habits uh, rhythms and enjoyment and this was to start finding my new habits while i was balancing with a job and um like i said it was a little bit intense so 
it was maybe not the best season for finding the habits and rhythms that I will have, um, like, like that, that will be exactly like, like that going forward. Uh, but knowing, uh, having seen that, okay, this back-to-back -back thing was quite intense, that also gives me the information I need to create better habits and more balance. Uh, so a couple of things that I've realized is that I want to plan big things in my business really far, far in advance. So now that I know that the next time I'm going to open the doors to companions, it's going to be in spring. I can start preparing for that like now. <laughs> um, I can start preparing for it in January, February. So I have plenty of time and everything can be more or less prepared in advance when it actually arrives. So uh, that is something that I'm leaning into and um, yeah, that will create a lot of spaciousness for me. It will create a lot of uh, flexibility in that I can uh, work on things when I feel like working on them rather than having to work on them because this needs to be done now and then another thing needs to be done. Uh, so yeah, that that is something that I'm planning on leaning really heavily into um, now going forward. Uh, but that being said, it has been a really enjoyable autumn. I have uh, realized so much that this balance that I have now suits me really well. It gives me the stability and I really, really enjoy my, my um, part-time job as well. I'm a content writer for a tech, tech company, young tech company. Um, and I get to do, yeah, you know, blog posts, um, customer stories, um, social media posts, press releases, those kind of things. So I do a lot of writing um, in my day job. And I also get to see how they grow their business since they are also in a quite early stage. And I get to see how uh, a team works in growing a business, uh, what it's like to have salespeople, <laughs> uh, which is a luxury. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's great. And one thing that I'm realizing is that that really helps me switch off my uh, business owner brain. And uh, that's something that I have I've seen now that I have to sort of switch off that uh, because I'm focusing on something else, how good it is for me to really switch off um, and how obsessive I have been in certain areas. And so, yeah, <laughs> um, that now that I can't obsess over things, I see that I have been uh, quite obsessive and also quite sort of winging it um, with like, uh, now I'm having to plan a little bit more like, okay, I have to do that on that day because I'm going to work the day after. Um, and I'm realizing that I have, I have just figured it out uh, along the way quite a bit um, this past year uh, when I've been doing it full time. And yeah, there are, like you can hear, a lot of reflections and a lot of insights that have been, um, yeah, that I have realized this autumn. And it has been really a shift in my business journey and a new entering a new phase in my business journey and the one it's a phase that where I I'm starting to feel really comfortable and um, while I have enjoyed my business all the way so much I've also been um, a little bit disoriented in it in some ways and I feel like now uh, I'm getting to a place where I'm getting more stable. It feels like a lot of puzzle pieces have fallen into place and I am running it in a way that feels really stable. It feels like I can, I can do this for years and yeah, yeah. And that, that feels good. And finally about autumn, um, I have worked on my novel <laughs> and this has been a little bit of a, um, of a thing that I have wanted to work on the novel. I have done some work on the novel. I have done work on the novel, uh, but I have struggled to make it as much a priority as I have wanted to. Um, and now this autumn when I have had less time than, than 
in a while and it's been quite intense, I have worked on the novel. Uh, and again, this is a, a lesson for all of us that is not necessarily about time. Uh, it's maybe about other things. And I think the fact that I have switched off from, um, from my business brain um, a couple of days a week, I think that has helped me to make space for the novel in my brain. Uh, and yeah, so I have worked on it uh, a little bit in weekends. Uh, which I have decided is fine <laughs> uh, because it's not something I, I feel stressed around. Uh, it doesn't have any deadlines, so just a little bit of overwork in the weekend, totally fine. Um, I worked on it on our co-working hours in my group coaching community um, and I have worked on it. Um, I worked on it uh, a couple of evenings after uh, my job was done stayed in the city um, and it's been great that that has been a part of the rhythms habit and enjoyment that's been really really great okay so i had a lot to say about autumn <laughs> um, and let's move on to winter and i am losing daylight here um, you can probably see that it's getting a little bit grainy uh, so i think i'm gonna do the rest of my winter or I'm gonna do more winter planning, the rest of the winter workbook. Um, and I will check back in to this vlog tomorrow and share with you what my winter plans were. So I will do that now and see you here in the vlog tomorrow. Is now the next day uh, I have done my winter planning I have slept on it and I'm feeling really really good about it I'm gonna say it is such a cloudy day here today it's really really dark this is so much winter <laughs> um, especially the beginning of winter it has to be really really dark here and um, yeah it's cozy it's a little bit annoying but it is cozy so uh winter 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 is a season of reflection it's a season of introspection it's a season of hibernation it's a season when we close in a little bit we um we cozy in more spend more time inside here in the north at least um and if autumn is a focused season when things like come together then um, winter is a much calmer season and it's a season when we tend to maybe simplify a little bit and it can be a season when we when we do create quite a lot because we are more inside and and we um yeah it can be a good creative season because it's quite cozy it's quite indoorsy and and not a lot of distractions by other things um, but it can also be a quite tired season uh, so i really really believe in leaning into the the good parts of winter and this quality of energy that winter has this reflective energy this um looking at the year that we are leaving behind, thinking about the year ahead, uh, reflecting around how things have been working, uh, maybe evaluating habits, workflows, uh, looking at projects, maybe thinking about our own creative work and us as creatives. I think leaning into this is it makes winter a much better creative season. When we expect winter to be a really, really high energy season, uh, maybe in January we expect to make really good fast progress on our goals. Then winter can be frustrating, it can be a bit of a letdown because that any energy might not be there. Especially if you are further up north, there's the days are shorter, there's less di daylight, um, it's colder. So yeah, um, I wholeheartedly believe in leaning into what the seasons are for us 
um, rather than trying to make them into something they're not. So I'm definitely doing that this winter. I have here my focus areas. So this is what we do. You probably can't see very well, but um, this is what we do. We do our seasonal planning and we decide on focus areas for the season here in Four Seasons of Creative Work. So my focus areas for winter, my main one is on the companions library. So uh, like I said, I have a group coaching community called Companions in Creativity. And in that we have a couple of resources for seasons of creative work is one. Uh, we also have a course that's called the Creative Compass. And uh, now that I have run the, this group a year, I feel ready to start building out a resource library. And this is something that I am so incredibly excited about <laughs> because I, over the years, I've had so many different ideas for resources I could create for creatives. Um, and part of why I haven't created like 15 different resources uh, is that one, it takes time, of course. Um, and my, like my philosophy as a creative coach has been developing. Um, and there are certain areas that I haven't felt ready yet to, to create a resource book because I wanted to understand it better and learn more and, and, and things like that. But I also haven't created it because I have realized that I don't want uh, a business model where I have to like market a lot of different things all the time. I find that really stressful. I find it overwhelming. I find it confusing. feels like I'm marketing all the time. <laughs> um, so which is why I have settled on. I do one-to-one -one coaching. I have a group. Um, that's the only two ways uh, or and for since of creative work. Okay, so there's three. <laughs> it's not that overwhelming to have three different things and I market them in different ways and all of that. But now that I have a group, I have this, I, I love running Companions and Creativity. I don't see myself uh, shutting it down anytime soon. It's, it's very like a long-term thing for me. Um, and I see that I can create resources to exist only within uh, Companions and Creativity. So that's the idea for the library. And uh, I wanna start building it out now over winter. Since winter is like not the most productive season, it is um, uh, spring and autumn are the seasons that are the most productive seasons for creatives. This is what I've seen in service with creatives. Also what I see uh, with people I work with, while winter is more this reflective energy um, and we can create, but it's not gonna be as productive and as energized as spring and autumn for the most, most people. So uh, one thing I'm really conscious of is that I'm not setting any deadlines around like which uh, things for the library I will create for at which date, things like that. Um, and I'm going to lean quite heavily into exploring, like thinking about my whole philosophy around the creative life, the creative work and uh, think about how the pieces fit together and how I can create re resources that not just stand on their own, but complement each other as well and think about, okay, so uh, maybe you start over here uh, and then you move on to that part. So that is something I think is a really, really good thing to, to do in winter, to think about these things, because all of this, this sort of thinking, reflecting, putting things in, in order in our mind, uh, that's really good for a uh, good thing to do in winter. So I'm gonna do uh, a lot of thinking. <laughs> Uh, a lot of sort of arranging my ideas uh, as well um, and then I'm going to start creating uh, resources. So that is going to be my main focus. That is going to be like the development that I'm doing in winter. Uh, so really, really excited about that. Um, and my secondary focus area is um, inspired by the one I had in autumn, which was uh, rhythms, habits and enjoyment. And for, um, I really liked that it had um, a how um, focus. So how I do things, a focus not on just what I do, but how I do it. So my secondary focus area for winter is reflect, nurture and enjoy. And so of course, uh, as I've said, 
I will do quite a bit of reflecting in winter. I am going to do my end of the year planning next week uh, as of filming this. And I plan on doing uh, yearly planning, maybe like last week of, um, of the year or the first week of next year. Um, so there will be a lot of that. And, and this also ties in with um, like thinking about my philosophy a little bit. And I will also like look back on what has been working this year. I want to dive more into my new habits now that I balance the business with a job, um, those kind of things. So yeah, one thing I've seen, like I, I have uh, experimented with the habits and my rhythms during autumn, but since autumn has been quite intense, I feel like I have yet to uh, find like the right balance uh, now. So I'm going to explore that more in winter, see where, like how much I can do in a week, what is a good amount to do in a week and how I can structure my weeks better um, and things like that. So looking forward to that, uh, nurture, um, the nurture part of this focus area is that since autumn has been quite intense with launching things and campaigns, uh, I feel like I have been like very focused on on those kind of things also in my content and um, I want to create content that are more nurturing, <laughs> uh, that are more uh, sort of uh, building trust, talking about the subjects that I'm interested in, but not uh, leading necessarily to, okay, so uh, this is a campaign for this, this is very connected to something I'm working on. Uh, so I want to, yeah, I want to dive into more of that in winter. Uh, podcast season two is going to be, be launching in winter. Looking forward to that um, and enjoy. I want to keep reminding to do my creative work in a way that I enjoy, that brings me joy. Uh, and that is something that I always um, have with me, but I feel like I sometimes forget to to prioritize a little bit uh, and when I do prioritize it I, I see that it makes such a big impact on like how good I feel in, our, in my weeks so those are things like working in a cafe some maybe for an afternoon or something like that uh, like I took photos of the snow one day when it was snowing here um, uh, and filmed a little bit as well you will see that footage in this video um, and yeah, um, it was just so wonderful <laughs> and uh, I have been writing uh, like uh, novel writing in evenings, like Friday evenings after I finished my, my job. Uh, I've sat with a glass of wine writing, it's been really, really nice. Uh, things like that, just things that bring me joy, maybe having an inspiration day. Things like that. Uh, remember to make that part of the rhythm, part of my habits, uh, and not just focus on getting stuff done. <laughs> and finally, my third little focus area um, is my novel. And I feel like I am at a good place with a novel now, finally. Um, I am into the editing process um, of uh, yeah, editing this, the whole, the whole draft. Um, and I'm making progress and I'm finding little pockets of time to work on it. It's not going fast because I don't have a lot of lot of time to work on it, but I am making progress and it feels consistent and it feels good and I'm enjoying it. So yeah, gonna do that. Gonna keep finding pockets of time for the novel and keep enjoying that and keep having that be a part of my creative life in winter. So that is my winter plan done and um, I'm very, very much looking forward to uh, doing end of the year reflections and doing uh, yearly planning and um, so four seasons of creative work. This is the last workbook of the year, but it, winter is also the season that ties one year with another. So. Um, yeah, while I have my plans here, I'm also gonna do um, yearly planning with intentions and think about how that will impact my winter as well. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. 
So um, if you're interested in doing seasonal planning, if you want to do your yearly reflections uh, or yearly planning, then uh, check out Four Seasons of Career Work. Again, this is the winter workbook, uh, but we also have it, there are a total of five workbooks. So it starts with uh, end of year reflections and yearly planning and starting to think about the seasonal plan. Um, so yeah. Have a look at that if you're interested. I'll leave the link in the uh, description. You can get it on my website. So yeah, that is yeah winter. <laughs> that, that is this video. video. Um, I do want to make videos more than one a season. Um, since autumn was so intense and focused, there wasn't time to make another video. I hope to make at least one more um, so I at least have two videos per season so I'll show up here on YouTube probably sometime more in winter <laughs> um, but otherwise uh, there's a full season of inside creativity um, in your podcast app that you can listen to if you haven't already um, and yeah I will see you here in the new year so have a really lovely end of the year and yeah, I am really happy to be back here as well. So have a good one and see you.